Hello Leo, welcome back to the Lucky Tarot. This is your December 15th until the 30th general love reading. So I have a feeling, Leo, while I was creep shuffling your cards, um, that someone around you could be sneaking or someone around you could be planning something that you're not aware of um, that might potentially affect you in the long run. So now is the time for you to be cautious about who to trust. Not really, not really being paranoid or something like that, but just become more aware of the people around you and their tendencies. I have that feeling the spirit wants to say. Um, I feel like you, for some of you, you already have a feeling who you can trust and who not to trust. More than anything, you need to really trust your gut feeling at the moment and stay true to yourself. Stay true to your power, to your intuition, and what the spirit has been guiding about um, your situation. All right? For some of you, I feel like you're still sad about a past relationship. Um, still very, very much invested. And I saw a devil energy a while ago, a Capricorn maybe, for some of you, Leo. You're, you're still heavily attached towards that person. You know that's not good for you. But for some of you, you could be already letting that go. But there's just a longing feeling for this period of December 15th until the 30th. So whatever that is, you need healing, my dear Leo. But we're going to see with the rest of the cards. So we're back with another general reading. As you all know, it's not going to resonate for all Leo. If you wish to book for a private reading, my information is down below. Thank you guys so much for liking and sharing the videos and subscribing to my channel. I appreciate you guys so much. Alrighty, so this is for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. General love messages. Spirit, angels, and universe, what are the messages for the sign of Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising for the period of December 15 until the 30th? Allows to see only a reflection of the truth. There you go. This is definitely your element, my dear Leo, um, a fire sign. Or you could also be dealing with another Leo or an Aries or a Sagittarius or someone who has that in their chart. Um, wow, heavy on fire energy. You're starting to really see your potential you're really starting to see people's behavior around you that you're slowly making better decisions but from others here i feel like you're still looking back on the past wanting to i don't despair is saying wanting to fix the situation or wanting to help someone out wanting to tap on someone and get this person's attention but at the same time you're turning a cold shoulder if you don't get the response that you've been hoping for for some reason I feel like ten of cups um, in reverse so I feel like there definitely has been a significant relationship in your life that's not really um, it's not really stable at the moment okay there could have been arguments there could have been things that you're not looking eye to eye with your family could mean family as well um, one that requires your decision to be made because two of wands is there um for some of you it could be already a breakup um ten of cups there's there has been an unreasonable decision making so now as you need to pay attention to what people are actually saying there might be a need for you to make better decisions based on your intuition and not just what you see on your surroundings not just what people are saying or if you're caught up in a past relationship, I feel like this has already ended. This is already um, a past energy, a passing energy. If you're looking back and you're trying to revive a particular relationship, I feel like it needs more time to pan out. It needs more time to develop. You can't keep going back and hoping things will change. Sometimes it's in the universe will for things to be so, so that you can focus on other things. You can focus on your life your life goals, what's being handed to you at the present moment. The past is there for you to definitely look back on and realize a lot, learn a lot. Oftentimes our mistakes and our past give us the best kind of wisdom, but it's so much different from acting on it. It's so much different from actually going back and doing something about it. It could be a good thing or a bad thing. It will all depend really on your perspective about the situation. All right, but I have a feeling that 
with a ten of cups right there it's a long-term relationship all right it has been a long-term relationship and it could be a family member or someone you're passionate and romantically inclined with. It's an important relationship in your life. Could have been a marriage as well. So you're trying to open the lines of communication. But somehow, um, there have been too many ups and downs. Ups and downs in this connection. That it's not so easy for you to just go back to this person. There could be some misunderstanding that, that can even arise if you... If just you just start in a false beginning all right people might take your motive in a different way if that makes sense all right because I don't see someone is being open here I think that this person or this particular person in your life is not ready um, there's still a lot of resentment if it's not the case I feel like you are still in a relationship and something is clearly falling apart here something is beyond your control that you definitely want to fix that's what i feel you want to go back in time and fix if there's something that you can do about it um from your past i feel like you want to make it up to these people but it seems like you are you and the other person is sweating over the small stuff there's a lot of squabble over petty issues and a lot of arguments that it's tempting you to act on a act on a place of aggression you're being tempted to do that is what I feel like. So that's not good. If you're going back to the past just to uh, stir up a past issue, it's not going to be favorable at the moment. So there needs to be definitely some change in perspective here, especially if this is the people you're involved with. They need to see you in a different light. And maybe that will only happen if you are willing to ignore this squabble for a moment, this argument for a moment, and really assess where you're at. Assess what part of this is your input, you know, what part of this can you actually affect without people mistaking your intentions to fix the situation. You know what I mean? I hope I'm making sense over there. We have the magician in reverse, six of cups, devil, see, the devil energy is here definitely a Capricorn um, that you're dealing with or I see all the signs since the magician came up so just follow the storyline over here um, I feel like Leo you're very much attached to your relationships um, the devil but it's turning out to be very very dark very very um, codependent there could be a lot of force being done in this. It's either you're forcing to fix the connection, but you cannot force it to be fixed if it's not fixable at the moment. Or it could mean that someone is trying to force um, an attitude towards you, um, throwing a shade at you to just keep on going on this squabble and this argument over and over. And it could be already a form of entrapment in your life. So um, it's not what it seems to be, my dear Leo. I think that if you pay close attention to what's really going on here, things are not necessarily as bad as you think it is. It's just that you need to detach yourself for now. Like I mentioned, don't pay attention to the arguments that's going on. Um, sometimes a situation doesn't need your reaction because if you do, it could just blow things out of proportion. This is definitely what the devil energy wants to happen. It wants you to keep on reacting to something, but nothing good is going to come out of it. It's just going to be constant argument and fight. It's just going to lead you to a lot of regrets as well to, as to why you even paid attention to all this pettiness. Um, devil also talks about ignorance here. With a Ten of Cups in reverse, something is superficial because someone is... Um, close off to finding out the core problem about the situation so there's some form of ignorance that's causing the conflict either someone is ignorant about your pain about your feeling or someone is closing off from from the real problems on this relationship is and is trying to give a solution but it's not happening the magician in reverse suggests you know action being taken but if it's in reverse i feel like if this is your energy leo and you want to fix a particular situation a squabble or an argument with a family member or loved one if it's in reverse you're maybe lacking the resources or you're lacking confidence within yourself to make this happen 
if this is the other person doing this to you, hurting you constantly over and over, could be a soulmate as well, six of cups, someone from the past or someone you've dealt with or someone you have kids with, ten of cups and six of cups, maybe suggesting that this is a marriage, a long-term relationship and you have kids and things are looking rocky and there's just a lot of arguments. I feel like you can be, you can be seen differently if you try to act on it right now. People might judge you or they may, might not may not take it um, in a good way if you're going to try to speak your mind, if you're going to try to fix it in the best possible possible way you know how. It could even mean that you're dealing with someone who has a lot of addictions, my dear Leo, and you're struggling with a, a codependent relationship with someone who you're so bound with, you feel like you're, you are very connected with this person could mean your soulmate but you have to understand that even soulmates even the sweetest most pleasant relationships even though someone you you confidently can say is your soulmate it can it can turn sour even relationships that are very healthy in the beginning can turn ill and and you don't need to blame yourself for that there are just some things that down the road can really change people people can change no matter how good their heart is, certain things in the surrounding that's going on, either they are weak to control that or they lack the strength to fight the darkness, is going to left the relationship ill at some point. Someone here in this connection could be um, engaging in form of entrapment, could be overthinking, could be bad, bad decisions, bad influences, could even mean addiction, drinking, uh, multiple partners, you know, and it's becoming to be toxic for the two of you to be in this relationship. That's why it's falling apart. Or if this is your energy, Leo, I feel like you are letting people down in your life because you couldn't give up on a particular addiction or entrapment in your life. And now is the time for you to really assess where you're going, assess all this aggression, assess all of this toxic influences you're letting in your life. You're not as hopeless as you think you are. Um... If you've been oblivious to the change that you need to do because you feel powerless with the devil, the truth is you can easily let this go. You can just let go of the chains if you want to. You already know that this is not healthy for you in the long run. It's bringing your relationship down. It's breaking your relationships altogether. So now is the time for you to assess to be, um, go back to how things were in the beginning, where everything is nice, is pleasant, where you're being kind to yourself and to other people. More than anything, if you feel it, if you feel hard to go back to the past, like I mentioned, going back to the past, into the beginning. And that is why I feel in early on that this is you trying to go back to the past. Maybe you want to fix the relationship. Just know that you, you have the resources. You're just lacking the determination at the moment or the courage to do so. I feel like you already know, Leo. You already know you need to do it, that you have to do it, and you should do it. But you're not doing it at the moment for some reason. And I think that you're aware of that. Willpower is being tested here. The magician has all the resources to fix a situation, to address a certain issue in the relationship, and to manifest the prosperity that one desires. And this can, you know, traditionally, magician can also speak about um, a healer. So if you want to heal your relationship, if you want to heal your relationship from that of the devil energy, whatever is causing this entrapment, um, make it happen. Make it happen for yourself, Leo. But if you are in this relationship with someone who's very, very toxic and they're lacking the motivation to heal themselves, then, then just see to it if what's going to bring about peace in your life. You don't need to go down in this connection. Already clearly something is falling apart here, um, Leo. Maybe it's not on you to heal someone. It's not your job to save someone. They need to be able to stand up on your, their own two feet. Realize what's already wa wrong. If not, then someone here in this connection needs to seek help from a professional maybe or a counselor or a spiritual coach to help them get over this devil energy because this is already taking over. If you don't address the situation, it can only get worse and it will be harder for for this person to go back. There's no going back if you dwell too much on this devil energy. This is precisely what it wants to do. It wants to trick you that there's no solution. It wants to trick you that um, this is life. 
This is the reality of things, but clearly it's not. You already know. I feel like you are aware. Things are not good. Things are falling apart. There's no happiness here at the moment. So for those of you who are in a marriage and you're thinking of divorcing someone because they've been very difficult to be with, you know, with all of this addiction that they're going through and are constantly arguing about their their behavior, their addictions, then consider this as, um, consider your children, all right? I don't know, the Spirit is telling me, consider your children, the people involved, who's going to be hurt in the end, all right? And also you, Leo, if you're the one doing this, consider your children and people who care for you, people who are, who are around you, who are rooting for you to turn that next leaf. So make that decision. That's what I feel like. That's why the cards are saying. You need to make that decision once and for all, my dear Leo, to say goodbye to this devil energy and, and address the situation. Address the sickness. Sickness. <laughs> I don't know if it's really a disease of some sort or it's already an addiction. But you need to let go of that so that you can also be able to save the relationship, savor the relationship, this connection with people who truly love you. Because if you keep going down that road, then you might not see what you're wasting here. You might not see that your family and your relationship is breaking apart. So awareness is key. You need to be more aware, more than ever, and seek the counsel of the Spirit to make it happen. If you feel like you're lacking resources, I feel like people are there um, wanting to help you out. People are trying to reach their hand to you. You know, you're not completely hopeless about healing yourself, finding healing from this situation. A card fell out there. Give me a second, please. All right, so sorry for that, guys. Two cards wanted to come out, the Hierophant and the Tower in Reverse. So, yeah, if you're stuck in a traditional marriage, because Hierophant does talk about commitment, or this could be your energy, wherein you're the one who sees things clearer than the other person, and you're, you you feel like um, this person needs wisdom. This person needs some form of re-educate, re-educating of how life works, of how the important things matter, like health, you know, good health, family, relationships. Then you need to be able to say this message to this person in order to avoid things from crumbling down. But yet again, you know, if this is your energy, then I feel like... Um, now is the time for you to really take a closer look on your health, my dear um, Leo. Tower with the Devil card here and the Magician suggests that something particularly in your life could be relationship or your health is falling apart here. But unless you pay attention to the lessons and you really hid the advice that's being handed to you by all the people that are concerned about you, you know, don't keep heading on that direction of the Devil energy. Things are going to come come crumbling down in your life if you avoid that. If you avoid what needs to happen. That change that you need to do. But for some of you that you've been done dealing with the same person who's hurting you, this devil energy, then it's time for you to, you know, don't let the anger and resentment and other things involved. If you don't have children, then it's time for you to really speak your mind up. Don't suppress how you feel. This unhappiness that you feel, this fear that you feel just being by this person, this devil energy. Um, anything superficial is meant to be taken away. Remember that. Things and people that are not good for you, that are not serving your highest good, they're not meant to be in your life. All right? It's not enough that you're committed in this long-term relationship. If it's not good, if it's not healthy, if it's toxic, it's time for you to do something about it. Have that conversation with this person. Give them the, kind of like an ultimatum, you know. I feel like, really, something is about to change here. You know, that something has got to give. I really feel like you're sick and tired of it all, my dear Leo. So, it's not a lost cause, but it's not also a time for you to um, prolong any further. We have the temperance card here. The outcome is healing, see? Devil and temperance, completely opposing energies. So, something here needs your healing. Um before heading in that direction and before time runs out be it a health issue a relationship issue you need to address it you need to heal it you need to be able to come back to your center allow the spirit to heal you so that something change some big change can stir up inside you and you can start sorting out your life you can start sorting out your relationships with people 
could be also a Sagittarius that you're dealing with here, or a Taurus. It, I, I guess that, um, Leo, now is the time for you to stop ignoring the present moment. We have the three of rods here. If you, you, you keep on waiting on something, I think that more than ever, now is the time to take initiative of all the of all the changes that you bound to have bound to do in your life all right and just don't keep on delaying what you need to do to detach yourself from this energy the devil energy it's not good for you in the long run it's not healthy so go back to your center and get that kind of motivation that energy that fire in you to heal yourself from toxic situation be firm all right, be firm. So that is your reading, my dear Leo. Please meditate on this. Like and share this video, and I'll talk to you guys soon.